Hey guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Today I'm so super excited because I'm gonna be bringing back my Loving Lately series. And this is a series where I basically talk about all the products that I'm loving at the moment. So products that I'm currently reaching for a lot, things that I found really have become a big part of my routine or things that I think are special and I just wanna share them with you guys. I did this series over a year ago here on my channel. I've done this on my blog for a few years and I kinda of let it fall off of both of those platforms which is so, so unfortunate because I feel like if I'm not talking about a product in a project pan or in an empties video, I don't really have a space that I've created yet on my channel where I can just talk to you guys about products that I find myself really reaching for, things that I'm just obsessing over at the moment. And this is truly what this is supposed to be. Like this is my version of a monthly favorites without it being tied down to it being every single month. I can really just talk about these products whenever I have a handful of things that I really feel like sharing with you, whether it is beauty, makeup, lifestyle, skincare, clothing, anything that I'm just having like a serious obsession over, I want to kind of start sharing these with you. I feel like I'm missing that kind of space to talk to you guys about that sort of stuff. So I'm so excited to bring this back. I wanna do these every like maybe six to eight weeks, something like that, but I don't want to make myself feel like I have to pick products to share with you. So I have only six products here that I wanna talk about, but they're all things that I cannot stop using or they're things that I'm just like so happy to have in my collection and of course I just want to sit down and share them all with you. So let's talk about the first product that kind of sparked my desire to bring this series back because like I said this is a product I don't feel like panning anytime soon and this is a product that realistically won't be finished maybe even within my lifetime, I don't know. So it's not something that's gonna be featured in either type of those videos. And I just, I really wanna share it with you guys. And I, I know, unfortunately, this is something that you can't even get your hands on anymore, but either way, this is something that I'm just absolutely loving at the moment and I cannot get enough of it. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. And I know so many of you guys are familiar with this. This is just such a beautiful light gold highlighter and look at that. I love the pattern in the pan, but that's not the most important part about this. I love the formula on this highlighter as well. It's just so, so stunning. No matter how many times you like try to run your brush through this product, it does not really create any sort of kick up, which is so bizarre because it doesn't have the same powder feeling as other powder highlights. This is more like, well, it feels like a powder in the on your finger, but in the pan, you can tell it has some sort of like cream binder or something in there. And the formula adheres so well to the skin because of that, whatever that is, there's some sort of binder in there. And you can see it just creates such a high shine, high reflective, high impact sort of highlighter. I adore this. And it is what I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. I do build it up quite a bit but I do put it on before I do my bronzer and I really like the way that it kind of blends into all of my bronzing products as well. In this swatch, it looks like it would be so deep, like my arms are way paler than my face and neck, but like it looks like it would be far too deep for me, but when I blend it into my skin, it truly is just like this gorgeous sheen, this amazing glow, and I love wearing it on my inner corners. I am wearing it on my inner corners on the inner portion of my lid today as well, and I just, I cannot stop reaching for this. I will put this into my drawer so that I choose to start reaching for something else and I'll pull out another highlighter and then I'll still go in throughout the week and use this highlighter. I cannot stop using it. I was lucky enough that actually when it was being re-released, my friend gave this to me um, from her collection because she wasn't reaching for it. So I didn't end up buying it in the re-release, but I still managed to get my hands on it and I'm so, so happy that I did. Um, yeah, if you have this in your collection and you haven't reached for it in a while because it was a limited edition product, definitely recommend that you pull it out and use it again, especially going to the summer months. If you get a little bit of a tan, this will just look bomb. Like I feel like this is gonna look so good on so many different complexions and I just, I'm so happy to have this in my life. I cannot wait to wear this in the summer, like on my shoulders and on my collarbone. Oh, I should have put it on my collarbone today. 
I might do that after. I'm gonna try to be a little bit more concise talking about the rest of these products, but I just have so many good things to say about everything that I have here. So these next two products are from Madame Glam. These are both lipsticks from the brand and they very generously sent me the entire range of their lipsticks. So they have eight shades all together in their velvet and in their matte formula. And these two lipsticks are one from each of those formulas. So you can see they have two different packaging because they're two different formulas. This one right here is the matte, and this one is my favorite shade out of the whole range. I do like the other red quite a lot, but this is just the one I found myself reaching for the most, and this is in the shade Conspiracy. This is a bright, true red. I am in love with this. I feel like I wore this in a recent video, and I got so many compliments on it. I can't remember which video it was. I'll link it down below if I can recall what it was, but I did swatch it right here and you can see it's just such a stunning bold red shade this is just so so beautiful and this is not like most matte formulas i was very much afraid to reach for this i thought that this was going to be very drying and very uncomfortable on my lips but this is actually quite a comfortable matte formula and it doesn't it's not transfer proof by any means it definitely is more of a satin matte or more of like a natural matte so it has like a touch of sheen left in it and um it definitely is not transfer proof like i said but it is high impact high opacity and it truly is just like a nice comfortable matte formula you if you're drinking and eating it might transfer a little bit it can smudge around the lips a little bit it's not like a chalky matte but it's so nice and i love that when a bold color like this comes in a more comfortable formula like that as well and then the other lipstick i have here is of course from madame glam again and i forgot to mention the best thing about these lipsticks is that they're completely vegan and cruelty free even with a bright red like that that is a vegan lipstick formula it's insane i think it's so cool that they are able to do that and this next shade i did swatch right here and this is in their velvet formula. I love the packaging on the velvet formula. It's actually like a component where you click into there and then the product comes out like that. I think that's such cool, like fancy packaging. It's not a necessity by any means, but I do really love it. And I love that there's a distinction between the two formulas like that. And this is the shade Fig. I, I am obsessed with this. This is the lipstick I'm wearing right now. It's like a deep, plum sort of shade and it's not too intimidating it truly is just a really nice bold shade without being too scary i don't know how else to describe it and you can see here the velvet formula actually has that balm kind of sheen to it and it isn't as opaque as the cherry not cherry conspiracy shade is or the mattes in general they're not quite as opaque but they are just such a comfortable balmy kind of feeling on the lips now the unfortunate thing about those lipsticks is that they are in the process of being discontinued or removed from the website they are starting to focus more on their polishes so it is unfortunate that they're not going to have those available for all that much longer but lucky enough they are on sale at the moment so if these are things that you have like already been curious about i highly suggest um purchasing them because they are a vegan formula and they are really luxe feeling and very comfortable on the lips i'm really obsessed with these two shades in particular but like i said i did get the entire line and all of the lipsticks are beautiful but these two are just like my personal style my personal preference and i'm just so happy to have these in my life these are just such comfortable beautiful lipstick formulas so this palette is not new to my channel at all it is a part of my pan those eyeshadows project pan this is the zulu by juvia's place and i'm so happy that this is in that project pan because i am just obsessed with this palette and this that project has given me such an opportunity to really play with this palette and familiarize myself with the formula and i cannot wait to play with this even more come the summertime and throughout the rest of this spring. This is just a stunning palette filled with brights and then a couple neutrals to ground it. Only nine shades and I feel like this is so cohesive and yet also very like distant all at once. I feel like you can create such a huge variety of looks 
with this palette independently or amongst other palettes from my collection and I've just been so beyond, so beyond obsessed with this palette. I feel like even though I'm panning one of the shadows in this palette, I've been reaching for every single shade in this palette almost as much as the yellow. The shimmer formula in this palette is phenomenal, as is the matte formula. I feel like Juvia's Place just knows how to do it when it comes to colorful shadows like these. So you can see these swatches are just like so, so highly pigmented and just so beautiful. And the color scheme is just so cool, so unique. And I feel like they just did it right with this palette. I do have the Masquerade Mini from this brand. I'm obsessed with it as well, but I've just been reaching for this more than any other palette in my collection as of late, simply because I am panning that yellow, but also because I'm just feeling like being really colorful because of the time of year and I'm just so happy that this is a part of my collection and a part of my Pan Those Eyeshadows project. I've got another eyeshadow product here. This is the Stila Shimmer and Glow and this one is in the shade Vivid Jade. This is such a beautiful deep emerald green kind of shade and it is their traditional like doe foot applicator liquid eyeshadow. And it does have a qu like quite a bit of dimension to it. I'd say there is a hint of some navy and a little bit of gold in here, but it does read as primarily just a beautiful gemstone green sort of shade. And I wore this so much over the holidays. I know that this is like months since the holidays, but I wore it so much during the holidays. And this has added so much value to my collection since I did add it back in, I'd say maybe November or December. And I find this so easy to wear. I wear it with either like a nice gray or a taupey kind of shade in the crease. I have worn it with like oranges and yellows in the crease too. And I think this looks so beautiful and so amazing no matter what. I, I find it just so easy to apply and just like blend out with my finger. It's a, such a simple, product to use. This does re look really good as a liner as well and I'm just so happy. I feel like this has added so much value to my makeup collection since I added it to my collection. So I couldn't not mention it. I don't think I'll wear this near as much come the summertime, but I just think it's so beautiful. I love the shimmer and glow formula from Stila as well and just look at that shine. I, I get compliments every time I wear this too. So this is something that has definitely been highly valued in my collection and I'm so happy to have my hands on it and I feel like this is something that I'll reach for quite a lot come the fall time but I had to mention it here because this is something that I'm just coveting so much at the moment. I know this looks massive and terrifying but this is the Eco Tools Bronze Buki and I have been obsessing over this brush for probably just about a year now. I was very fortunately sent this from Farley Quote Farley Co. Beauty, which is a distributor of EcoTools here in Canada. And they distribute several other brands, but EcoTools is um, one of the brands that they've sent me a couple products from. And this is the Bronze Buki brush. It is perfect for bronzing if you like to go crazy with bronzer like I do. I just truly like pack this on my cheeks and then t like tap it around my um, temples and along my hairline and then I just dust it down my neck and onto my chest and in the summertime I loved using this brush on my legs as well it cleans up so well it really distributes the product very nice and evenly across whether it's your face or your body and it's so easy to use like I just like will just dust it into my compact and I'll just bloop, 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 and my bronzer's done so easy. I have not used another bronzer brush since I got this. Honestly, every time I bronze with any sort of powder or bronzer, as long as the compact's like large enough for this brush, I've been using this and I cannot stop using this. Um, it's just so good and it's so easy and, and it does clean up really nicely and it's held up really, really well, even though it's been like a year. Eco Tools brushes, I've never had an issue with them like falling apart on me though. I, I definitely think that they are really good quality brushes. And I just, I just can't get enough of this brush. I, I can't say enough good things. I feel like the shape is just perfect for creating a very diffused bronzer look. And I'm just, I'm just obsessed. I know this is definitely not the kind of brush for everyone, but if you like to bronze like your body or if you like a more just like seriously diffused, very 
all over bronze appearance like what I like, then this might be something that you'd be into as well. This is just such a beautiful brush and it's just, yeah, I can't get enough of it. I, I think come the summertime, I'm gonna be using this even more. Like last year I used it all the time. So I cannot wait to just use this like all over my body. It's so soft, it's so fluffy and it's just so good, truly so good. And this last product is the Divine Essence Organic Rosehip Beauty Oil. This claims to be anti-aging and rejuvenating. I definitely feel like it is a very rejuvenating and hydrating product. I do have fine lines, I haven't noticed any sort of difference and I am down to about like here in the bottle. So I don't have a lot of product left in here and I haven't noticed any sort of anti-aging benefits, but maybe that's because I already do have signs of aging, whereas this might be more better suited for prevention. But regardless, I am so beyond happy with this product. I cannot stop using this. I feel like this is something that my skin has just been drinking up and loving. I I don't love the smell of rose. I actually don't really like rose products at all, but there's something about the way that this one smells that is very subtle and very like easy on, on my nose. Um, so I'm not like offended by this scent and I love the way that this feels. This is a true facial oil, definitely has that oily feeling, but I love to just pat it into my skin after I've done all of the other skincare, I leave this on my bedside table primarily. And um, once I've done all my skincare, I usually spend like an hour or two kind of still just hanging out watching TV or just whatever, doing whatever for the last couple hours of the day. And then I will hop into bed and I will just pat this in between my fingers. I'll pat this on my face just to give myself a little bit more hydration before I hop into bed and i feel like i wake up and my skin looks so happy and so healthy and so just like so i don't know it's just so supple and this has been the game changer for me i've been using this off and on for probably the last six months but realistically in the last like three four months as it's been so dry and so cold here i've been reaching for this all the time and really just using it to really replenish the moisture in my skin and I feel like this has done so well. I have tried this um, this sort of technique with the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil which I have since finished and I've tried it with the Ordinary Squalane but there's something about this product specifically that I find is really just nice to use as like a top coat over all of my skincare and to really just help all of my skincare really get like just to sink into my skin and to really just create a really nice nourish, nice, nice nourished um, look to the skin when I wake up in the morning. This has just been such a beautiful product. I'm so happy with this. This brand is one that I don't really hear talked about here on YouTube, but I do think that the handful of products that I've tried from them are absolutely beautiful and I'm so happy to have them in my life. So yeah, I could not, recommend this enough. This is a product that was also sent to me from, um, I guess their Canadian distributor as well, which is M, -squ M squared brands. And I'm really happy to have this in my hands and on my night side table as well. This has just been such a good treasured product from me. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all the products that I've been loving lately. These are some of the products that I've just found myself like almost compulsively reaching for and just using as a part of my routine without even really thinking about it to be honest these are things that i've just been so happy with so happy to have in my collection and they're not things that i'm necessarily focusing on using up but i'm just really enjoying getting use out of them and using them to their full potential so i hope that you enjoyed seeing all the products that i featured in this video i hope that you like this series let me know if this is something that i should definitely continue on with and maybe like what sort of formats that you guys would like to see from this or Anything that you have in terms of input for this series or comparable series, definitely leave that down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.